Paul on the Island of Malta, Acts 28, New Living Translation Version Bible. Once we were safe on shore, we learned that we were on the island of Malta. The people of the island were very kind. Okay, the people of the island were very kind to us. It was cold and rainy, so they built a fire on the shore to welcome us. As Paul gathered an armful of sticks and was laying them on the fire, a poisonous snake driven out by the heat bit him on the hand. The people of the island saw it hanging from his hand and said to each other, a murderer, no doubt, though he escaped the sea, justice will not permit him to live. But Paul shook off the snake into the fire and was unharmed. The people waited for him to swell up or suddenly drop dead. But when they had waited a long time and saw that he wasn't harmed, they changed their minds and decided he was a god. Near the shore where we landed was an estate belonging to Publis, the chief official of the island. He welcomed us and treated us kindly for three days and sorry, as it happened, Publis' father was ill with fever and dysentery. Paul went in and prayed for him and laying his hands on him, he healed him. Then all the other sick people on the island came and were healed. As a result, we were showered with honours, and when the time came to sail, people supplied us with everything we would need for the trip. Paul arrives at Rome. It was three months after the shipwreck that we set sail on another ship that had wintered in the island an an Alexandrian ship with the twin gods as its figurehead. Our first stop was Syracuse, where we stayed three days. From there, we sailed across to Regium. A day later, a south wind began blowing, so the following day, we sailed up to the coast to Puteroli. There we found some believers who invited us to spend a week with them, and so we came to Rome. The brothers and sisters in Rome had heard we were coming, and they came to meet us at the Forum on the Appian Way. Others joined us at the tree.